Hi guys, in today's video we're going to be reviewing the Army Painter Speed Paint Mega Set 2.0. The reason this set is called 2.0 is because it's an updated formula on the original Speed Paints that were released last year. The main difference between these paints is the fact that there's way more paints to choose from now and so the colour swatch uh, gamut has been raised massively. Also there was a, a known technical part of the paints that cause reactivation. Now I actually personally like that as I was able to blend and that sort of thing but there was a lot of people that did not like that side of the speed paints. Well, the Army Painter have gone back to the drawing board and they came up with 2.0 and they actually fixed the reactivation issue that people were getting. But we'll go over that later on in the video. Another really cool thing about these speed paints is the Army Painter have actually brought out uh, a world first, if you like, in one coat metallic paints I think these are fantastic I'm unfortunately only able to try the first three metallics in the range of 10 that they are bringing out as the mega paint set uh, has three in the set uh, there I was testing out the gold now we're going to test out talus bronze and as you can see going over the white um, bottle caps that are 3d printed it really is one coat coverage as you can see None of the white showing through, the colour solid, and it looks really, really nice. Speaking of the 3D prints, these bottle caps are absolutely fantastic to test out the colours, and it's a great uh, addition to the bottles, having a colour swatch so you know exactly what colour you're going to get straight off the bat. I'm going to put a link in the description box down below to where I th got the 3D print files from and they're free which is great. Again this is the silver of the three colours included in the mega set. So you've got the bronze, the gold and the sort of like a, a silvery gunmetal colour and uh, again great <laughs> works straight out the bottle and uh, goes back to the name of the paint speed paint you can get a real fast metallic smooth even coverage in seconds on these bottle caps here you can see what the metallics look like after drying they don't have the same high sheen as army painters regular metallics but that's no bad thing it's just another tool in the toolbox so for me personally I'd like to use these metallics for true non metallic metal effects it's a bit of a mouthful guys but yeah I feel that these will be brilliant to use for that sort of technique where you get less of a high sheen metallic finish but you still get a really nice end result Okay, I can't show you every single paint on camera painting it as it would be a ridiculously long video and I'd get complaints from people saying that I wasted people's times by painting each individual uh, bottle cap. But I just want to show you how smooth the paint goes on. It's way thinner than your regular acrylic paints from the Army Painter or any other company for that matter. It's almost like an ink in the sense that when you're applying it on these bottle caps or a miniature as you may be doing yourselves it goes on really quickly and it, you get that really nice subtle effect where you get staining in the cracks and crevices and you also get a slight highlight on the edges of the uh, extreme edges of whatever you're painting so brilliant results what I would say is you'll notice that I'm going to show you every single um, paint in the range of the Mega Set 2.0 and you'll notice that some leave more staining than others, some are darker than others, some are much lighter than others. The really cool thing about these speed paints is that you can actually use a speed paint medium to actually give the exact effect that you want 
I mean, the colour that I'm showing you here, for example, that I just dropped, uh, is really deep staining. Now we're going to have a look at the nuclear sunrise, and we can see that it's way less um, staining on the top surfaces, but a deep staining in the recesses. And this is the design of the paints, that each design to look specifically um, a little different. For example, I notice with the flesh uh, colours, they're not as pigmented as some of the other colours. And that's done by design. If there was as pigmented as some of the other colours in the range, you wouldn't get that really nice uh, fleshy look to your miniature. So... What you can do is experiment a lot with these speed paints, with the speed paint medium, or just regular water. Um, I mean, I've thinned them with regular water and got great results as well. So as I'm showing each uh, paint here, they've literally all had one coat over a white uh, primed cap. So whatever color you see is just one coat over a white prime cap whether that's a really deep stain or a lighter stain depending on the development of the paint and how they design them to work i mentioned in a previous video recently that i'll be doing a tutorial soon on angron the world eaters demon primark and on that miniature, I'll be doing a new technique sweeping our hobby called Slap Chop. And speed paints are just perfect for Slap Chop. What that basically is, is when you paint a miniature, uh, or you prime it, I should say, in black, then you get your dry brush out, and you use a series of greys all the way up to white to dry brush over the black to leave a pre-highlighted miniature. Then you apply your speed paints over those pre-highlighted uh, greys and whites, and you're left with an even better end result than you are painting over just plain uh, a white primed miniature. But I'm, I'm looking forward to showing you that video shortly. Another thing to uh, note is each one of these dropper bottles has a agitator, so uh, a ball bearing, for example, in the bottle that when you shake the speed paint up, it's going to thoroughly mix that speed paint and make sure you get a nice, even, smooth coverage on whatever it is you're painting. Another important thing to note with these speed paints is they're really easy to blend with. They dry relatively fast, but between the time that you get to um, paint and they dry, you're able to blend the paints just using regular water, another speed paint color over the top, they blend so beautifully. Um, I found that with Speed Paint 1.0. Uh, as I said earlier, there was reactivation when you painted a colour, like we have in front of us here, red for example, and you applied a white over the top. You'd see maybe some of the, the red bleed through to the white. I've not experienced it on 2.0, so I'm happy to say that uh, I've not experienced it so rest assured that 2.0 is way way better for those that did struggle with the 1.0 version it's important to note that I uh, used a hairdryer to dry these uh, paints to speed up time but I only left the, the hairdryer on for about two minutes on a medium setting and that thoroughly dried them for the test that we're going to do at the end of the video to show you that they're not reactivating. Some of the colors look so cool guys. I mean this one uh, is a really nice color. But in general they're, they're, they're all really really nice. And if like the color that we see in front of us you don't see enough deep shading thin the paint a little bit with speed paint medium and you'll get a stronger effect with the shading 
I'd really love to hear your thoughts on the paints that you've seen tested in this video, guys. Have you used speed paints before? Uh, if so, uh, obviously there would have been the 1.0 paints as we're waiting for the speed paint mega set 2.0 to come out uh, at retailers shortly. Um, but let me know, uh, were you big fans of the speed paints like I was, the 1.0 uh, version? Are you looking forward to the uh, new formula that they're using? in speed paints 2.0 let me know in the comments field down below i really want to hear your thoughts guys also leave a comment down below if there's something in the video that you wanted to see that i didn't actually showcase um i of the set now so i can do another video if need be if i've forgot to do something that would be really interesting uh, for you guys to see It's important to note, guys, that my opinion on these speed paints is they're not going to replace regular acrylic paints for me. Not at all. They're just another tool in my toolbox that I happily use. Um, they're great for the slap chop technique that I mentioned earlier. They're great for um, blending over regular acrylics if you wanted to do uh, glazes and that sort of thing. So don't think of these as, oh, I've got a hundred acrylic paints in my toolbox, if you will, and I need to replace them all with speed paints. I don't think these personally are a replacement to acrylic paints. They're uh, an addition, in my opinion, to a, a regular acrylic paint. And you'll find that you'll be using, if you're like me, acrylic paints for certain techniques and certain applications. And you'll be using speed paints for certain techniques and certain applications. They're interchangeable with one another, which is what I really, really like. Um, sometimes I use enamel paints and lacquer paints and they can be a lot more finicky uh, with how they interact with different uh, paints whereas using these speed paints they work really really well it's interesting that I'm showing you this uh, maize yellow here and it actually works better than a lot of a <laughs> regular acrylic yellows which really struggle with coverage so i was very impressed with this color in particular um but like i say um there's not one paint in the set that i tested that i didn't feel worked uh if there was any paint that i feel that was uh, maybe a little bit too pigmented to give the desired uh shade highlight and mid-tone effect then it's just a case of adding a bit of speed paint uh, uh, medium to get the result that you uh, ultimately want. Okay, so uh, we're getting towards the end of showing you all the different colors in the set. And we're gonna actually show you me going over some of the colors in the set with some Army Painter white, matte white paint. And as you can see here, this uh, paint was dried for a couple of minutes with a hairdryer. I think the Army Painter says leave it to air dry for about two hours, but I use a hairdryer, it took me two minutes. And as you can see, no reactivation there. Here's another one. And another. It's important with all reviews to actually balance the positives and negatives and go over the things that you really like about a product and things you dislike about a product. But I've got to be completely honest, I actually can't find anything that I 
dislike about the Speed Paint Megaset 2.0. I understand with the 1.0 variety of speed paints, there was a lot of people that just did not like the reactivation. I understand that, um, but to fix that uh, from my tests that I've done on a painted miniature and also that I did in this video. So again, I struggle to find anything that I dislike about these paints. So I want to wrap up this video by saying that I really love speed paints. They've been great when I was using them last year and up until now. And I'm going to actually enjoy using the new paints even more as I won't be varnishing between layers to get rid of that reactivation issue on the 1.0 uh, paints. So... Uh, Love to hear your thoughts guys, put a comment down below and thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.